Hey, welcome back guys. Welcome back to Pro Row 784. I'm here with mom. We are in Bartow, Florida at the Florida Trail Riders um, event. Second race of the season. I think it's called something with a Halloween spectacular or something like that. Uh, we did not get here early this morning. Got here literally like a half hour ago and Brandon is already headed down to the start area. So the start looks like it's about seven or eight minutes and we are trying to get ourselves there. Uh, but the traffic is pretty heavy here. So you guys hang tight getting ready to watch a race. Okay, we're coming up here to start here. There's see Brandon. Brandon's going to be in orange and white today. And he is on the, the Yamaha YFZ 450 today. So uh, uh, looks like there's two, four, six, eight, nine, nine, ten riders. Looks like they go down the hill there, make a right, and then they'll make a left there. But uh, got the old man Pipers here. Piper Jr. Was. Well, try it. Come on, son, get It's got a shifter on this side over here. Yours has that? 30 seconds. <sighs> Let's go play, Brandon. No, I might need that Piper special over there. Let's try something more. this, I swear to God, this thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I just want to jump in here right quick, let you know what's going to go on in this video here. As you can see, it's extremely dusty on the start here, and uh, Brandon has worked his way into second here. Had a pretty good start on the YFZ 450, and he's chasing his good friend Michael Aurelia here. And uh, Brandon will make the pass, I think, around the four mile marker or so. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to chop this video quite a bit. Uh, Brandon races for about an hour and 25 minutes, I believe, and uh, I'm going to cut it down quite a bit. It just seems like the videos, I think, are, it's just a repeat of what you see here. So I'll just put some of the highlights in there and some of the 
some of the racing as he goes along, passing people and that kind of stuff. There is, uh, you guys stay tuned because there is something very interesting that happens right after we pit him the very next lap. Brandon almost gets in a crash that looked to be, it could have been very bad. He went in the air, uh, he, got, he got basically tagged in the right rear and he went in the air and got airborne and, and was sideways. I don't know how in the world he saved it, but he did. Brandon's in very good shape, good, good kid. And uh, he was able to set it back down on four wheels and, and continue. But uh, anyway, we had a good time. Brandon had a good time riding the YFZ450. And um, you guys stay tuned this coming up week and the following week there. Uh, we got quite a bit of shop work to do. We've got a Can-Am Renegade for 2024. We've got a build for Brandon. That will be coming up. And then also I've got a... A, a Can-Am Renegade 1000 in the shop that needs a new motor in it. And I have, I got the new motor. We just got to, we just got to carve out the time to, to remove it and install that motor. So there's going to be some shop videos coming up. And uh, you see Brandon makes a mistake right there. This, this track is so treacherous in the grass. And I know there's not a lot of trees and woods in this area right here. Uh, but you better not get off the track because there's so many hazards. This is an old mining pit where they used to mine the dirt and um, it doesn't look like much, but boy, do not get off the track because there is tons and tons of things that will get you in trouble. But uh, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. I just wanted to catch you guys up. He stalls it right here, obviously you can tell there, but I'm gonna try to get out of here and uh, he's got a pass for the lead here coming up here. So I wanna get out of here and uh, let you guys watch that. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Hey, appreciate you guys watching the video. Thank you.
Brandon will be here and then we're expecting John too. To get another one so Brandon's due right in probably three minutes or less. go around that side and he went but it just looked like they collided no no that, that's how I thought collided
So we're standing here with Brandon after the FT, the Florida Trail Rider race. This is Brandon's quad that he rode earlier. And uh, boy, the sun uh, is going down. There is a, uh, looks like there's a Strider race going on right here next to us. But uh, Brandon had a pretty pretty flawless race. Uh, didn't get off to a great start. Well, yeah. I guess, but anyway. Yeah. The bad. track was really, really rough that first mile. To, so I'd say there were three, I'd say. Um, Man, it was really brutal. I've never rode uh, this side of this property. I've rode this property a lot, but never rode this side, and golly, it was rough. Uh, and after the first lap, I ended up, Michael got a whole shot. Uh, I, I ended up getting third, I believe. Uh, Michael really got the whole shot. Um, I finally ended up chasing him down, I would say, at mile marker four-ish, I would say. Um, got around him, and then never looked back. Uh, put my head down, and it was dusty there was no doubt about that um, fast fast they, lap times i mean the, the yeah, they were we, short we were coming around pretty quickly 14 uh, i think the first lap was 14 35 or something like that so you were into lappers yeah i was into quick. lappers literally the beginning of my lap too yeah so, yeah but everything went good i ended up winning the race um yep. my lap times were actually really consistent which was pretty surprising because normally when i get on this thing it wears me out in different ways um but i actually felt good all day so but you enjoy, you enjoyed it. it it looked like you, yeah, you, you enjoyed it time. yeah i think so. we rode i raced for about an hour and a half or so so yeah good yeah. definitely good ride so what's the uh so what's the plan we go back home just a, a little bit more riding and training yep. it's getting ready to get dark early so that's going to change a few things i guess yep. but uh yeah I go home and start teaching the kids again uh today's saturday uh probably relax a little bit tomorrow um, well you got to celebrate Kyla's birthday yeah, tomorrow celebrate Kyla's birthday tomorrow yeah. um, we've been racing almost every weekend yes. so actually the next this coming up weekend will be my first weekend off in a, in a long, long time. time yeah so yeah uh, excited for that uh, just to get away for a little bit do something a little different uh, yeah then the next week after that, back racing. Get after so. it, yeah. In fact, we got an FTR race. Yep. Florida Trail Rider. I think I it's here again, yep. but it's on the other side. Yep. So, uh, and you like that a little bit better. A little bit better. It's still yeah, rougher yeah, it's than still all rough. heck out here. But uh, anyway, we had a great time. And, uh, yeah, all right. everything went good today. Yep. So, so that's a word with Brandon. And uh, we're getting ready to get out of here. They've got a Strider race going on behind us. And there are a lot of people here. And uh, these little, little riders are getting after it. So, um, all right. As always, guys, I appreciate you guys watching our videos. And we will see you in the shop sometime this week i assure yourself see ya